All right, good morning and welcome to Master Talker Online class. Today we'll be talking about um, salt. Okay, now salt are irrational numbers. Okay, uh, examples of salt are root 2, root 3, root 5, root 7, blah blah blah. Okay, that is that. And let's go straight to solving questions in salt. And the first thing we're going to talk about is simplification of salt. Simplification of salt. Now, how do we simplify salt? Let me let me give you an example. If I have root eight, how do you simplify root eight? If you can remember when you are in secondary school, they will tell you to uh, think of uh, the, a perfect square. That you can get from this uh, root 8. Here, I, you don't have to think about it, just do it this way 2 divide 4, 2 divide 2, 2 divide 1. Now, anyone that is double stays outside. Then, if you are single, stay inside. So, 2 is double. I'm putting that to outside. Then, the, the remaining 2 that is single, and that is your answer. So, question number 1. Now, number 2, watch roots, root uh, 180. With 180, look at 180. 2 divide, I'm having um, 90. 2 divide, I'm having 45. 5 divide, I'm having 9. 3 divide, 3. 3 divide, 1. Okay, now if you look at this, this is double. Stay outside times. This is another double. Stay outside times. Then the five that is single stays inside. So my answer becomes what? This time this six root five. Number three. The next one is root two forty. Now two forty. Let's do the same thing. You don't need to start thinking of a perfect whatever shape. So you have two forty. Two divide one twenty. Two divide sixty. Two divide thirty. Two divide fifteen. 3 divide 5, 5 divide 1. So let's go now. I have double outside times double outside times single inside times single inside. So if you are single, stay outside. If you are double, stay inside. So I'm having 4 root uh, 15. As simple as that. Number 4, I'm going to solve 5 questions here. We'll move over to the next one. Number 4, I'm having root uh, 98. 98 2 divide i'm having um 4 9 7 divide 7 7 divide 1 so as simple as 7 root 2 because this is double now number 5 i'm having root root 200 root 200 200 2 divide 100 2 divide uh 50 2 divide 25 5 divide 5 5 divide 1 so what am i having double outside times double outside then single inside so what do i have 10 root 2 okay so that is that and the next thing we are going to do is uh, uh reducing a sword into a single sword like taking this answer back to this taking this answer back to this so uh, a question now said express as a single sort express as a single sort so let's solve all these questions we've got so this one is 2 root 2 now you will know that anybody that is outside what made the person to remain outside was because the person is double so if you are going inside you will show that you're double you're double so i have already two here times two times another two why is it double because it was outside so my answer become what root eight so what do i have the next one number two the same thing six root five so what do we do five is already here times what six times another six so what do we have 180 the next one number three says uh four root 15. so this one said i have 15 already here times four times four so what do we have 240 Number four, number four said seven root two. What do we have? Two is already here, 
times 7 times 7, which is what? With 98. Number 5, finally, I'm having a 10 root 2, which is what? 2 is already here, times 10, times 10. So what do we have? Root 200. Okay. So the next thing we're going to look at is um, addition and subtraction of salt. Addition and subtraction of salt. Okay. How do you add or, or subtract salt? Now, in addition and subtraction of salt, only light salt can add. What did I say? Only light salt can add or subtract. If you are not a light salt, you cannot add or subtract. Now, what do I mean by add uh, light salt? I have an addition slash subtraction. Now, light salt means what is inside must be the same. Like this and this are light salt because they have two, two inside. One, two, three are light salt. So, if I have that A root B and uh, C root B, uh -huh, they are light salt because they have the same thing inside. But look at this one now. A root B and uh, A root C. Are they light salt? No. Though they have this the same thing outside, but they are not like salt. Like salt is the only way they have the same thing inside. So if they are not like salt, they cannot add or subtract. But if they are like salt, they can add or subtract. So let me give you an example. Example. And what do we do when we are adding like salt? We add only their coefficient. We add only their coefficient. Let me tell you what I mean by that. I have a uh, a root b plus c root what? the same b so what do you do we add only the coefficient which is what a plus c then putting the root b there okay so that is how we add if it's subtraction you do the same thing so addition and subtraction they go together so what do we do now an example example here said root 32 uh, minus root 2 plus 2 root 8 Okay, so let's do that. 32, reduce it, 32, 2 divide, 16, 2 divide, 8, 2 divide, 4, 2 divide, 2, 2 divide, 1. Double, stay outside, times, double again, stay outside. What I'm having now is root 2, minus root 2, plus 2 is already here, before 8 started from here. Before I have what? 2 that is here, root 2, okay? So what do we have? This time this will give you what? 4 root 2 minus root 2 plus 4 root 2. So remember what I told you that only the coefficient is what we add or subtract. If you look at it, they are all like so. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 minus 1, there's an invisible 1 here to give you 7. So my answer becomes 7 root, uh, root 2. Okay? So let me give you another example to that. So another example says... 7, 7 root 3 minus root 75, okay? As simple as this. Let's simplify this. So what do I have? I have 7 root 3 minus uh, 75. 5 divide. I'm having, um, okay, 3 divide. I'm having 25. 5 divide. I'm having 5. 5 divide. I'm having 1. So double. Double, which is 5. Then single, which is 3. So what do I have now? This minus this will give you what? 2 root 3. Only the coefficient we add or subtract. Okay. Now, number, uh, which, this one is number 1 example. Number two. So number 3 example. Number 3 example is um, 3 root 48 minus root 75 plus 2 root 12. Okay, uh, minus 2 root 8. Okay, so I'm having this. So what do we do? Bring down 48. 48, 2 divide. I'm having 24. 2 divide 12. 2 divide 6. 2 divide 3. 3 divide 1. This together, 3 is already here times. This is 2. And this is another 2. So 2 times 2, 4. So 4 will stay outside. 4 will stay outside. I'm having root 3 minus 75 
we got 75 as 5 root 3 plus uh, 12. 12. 2 divided 6. Okay, 2 of start from here. That is 2 root 3. So, but 2 is already here times another 2 root 3. Then minus. This is um, 2 times another 2 root 2. Another 2 root 2. Permit me, 2 root 2. Okay, so my answer become this time this, I'm having um, 12 root 3 minus 5 root 3, okay, plus 4 root 3 minus 4 root 2. Now, the only light sorts can add or subtract. So 12, 12 plus 4 will give you 16. 16 minus 5 will give you 11. 11 root 3 minus 4 root 2. Since they cannot add or subtract, my answer is just this. Okay, so let's go to division and subtraction of sum. Uh, division and the multiplication, sorry. Division and multiplication of sort. Okay. Now, in multiplication and division of sort, unlike the addition and subtraction, whether they are like sort or they are not like sort, it's not our business. That one can go. Okay. In multiplication and division, we don't consider whether they are like sort or not. The only thing we do that the person outside will multiply the person outside. The person inside will multiply the person inside. The same is applicable to the division. So if I have A root B times C root D, I'm not interested whether they are like sort or not. The only thing I know is that the one outside A will times C and the one inside B will times D. So what do I have now? I'm having A, C root B, D. Okay? So... Uh, the same is applicable to the division. I have A root B over C root D. Okay? So, the one outside will divide one outside, while the one inside will divide one inside. Okay? Now, but in a situation whereby the one uh, at the denominator cannot divide the one at the numerator, we do what is called rationalization of sort. We are getting to that. So, let me give you an example to this. The first example we are going to solve is root 48. Sorry, root 45. Root 45 times... Uh, root 45 times root 12. Times 3 root 12, sorry. Okay? So what do we do? Before you do anything here, try to reduce them if they are reducible so that it will be easy for you. So I have 45. 5 divided, I have 9. 3 divided, I have 3. 3 divided, I have 1. Okay? So I'm having 3 here. So I have 3 root uh, 5 times 12, 2 divide 6, 2 divide 3, 3 divide 1. So 3 is already here, times 2 root 3. So what do we have now? 3 root 5 times 6 root uh, 3. So 3 times 6, 3 will times 6, while 5 will times 3 inside. So what do we have now? 18 root uh, 15, as simple as that. So the next one we're going to look at, example two, example two is um, root 24 over root 50. Okay, before you select to divide, try to know if they are reducible and reduce it. 24, 2 divide 12, 2 divide 6, 2 divide 3, 3 divide 1. Okay, so what am I having? 2 divide 12, 2 divide 6. Okay, so I'm having this. So I'm having 2, then 2 times 3. So for 50, I'm having 2, 25. 5, 5, 5, 1. So 50 is giving me 5 root 2. So what do we have now? I'm having 2 root 6 over 5 root 2. So 2 divided by 5 separate, then what? 6 divided by, uh, by 2. So what am I having? 2 over 5 root what? Root 3. As simple as that. Okay. The last question I'm going to solve here before we enter rationalization of sort. The last question I'm going to solve here is root 60. Root 60 times 
root 180 divided by root 75. So let's reduce 60. 2 divide 30, 2 divide 15, 3 divide uh, 5, 5 divide 1. So what am I having there? These two will give me 2 roots. This time this, 15. Okay, times 1, 8, 2 divide 9, 2 divide 45. Uh, 5, 3 divide 9. Sorry, 5 divide 9. 5 divide 9, 3 divide 3, 3 divide 1. So I'm having 2 and 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So 6 root, uh, root 5. Okay? All over 75. 5 divide. Uh, 3 divide. Sorry. 3 divide 25. 5 divide 5. 5 divide 1. So I'm having 5 root 3. 5 root 3. Okay. So, let's go again. What do we do? 2 times 6 divided by 5. Then, I'm having this one. Okay? I'm having this one. This one says uh, 15 times 5 divided by 3. So, what do we have now? I'm having 2 times 6. 12 over 5 root this time this okay three three into this will give me five so five times five is five i'm having oh even since they are two 25 okay let me leave it like this so i have 12 over five times five so five cancel five so what am i having 12. how do i get five with 25 is five so let's go into rationalization of saw Rationalization of salt. How do we rationalize salt? Now, it's an abomination to leave salt at the denominator. Okay? We don't leave salt at the denominator. What do we do? We rationalize it if they cannot divide. So what do I have now? If I have A over root B, it's not good to leave uh, this at the denominator. Now, I forgot to tell you that a multiplication of salt, if they are like terms, if they are like salt, that when they multiply each other, the salt disappears. What do I mean? Root A times root A is just A, the salt disappearing. Root 50 times root 50 is just 50 without the root. So please take note of that. Very important. So now what do we do here? How do you rationalize? Multiply the numerator and the denominator by the salt at the denominator. So what do I have? A over root B times root B over root B. So this is equal to this times this. I told you that the one outside multiplies the one outside. A times invisible one. You have A root B all over. Root B times root B. I told you they are like sort. So it should be just B. So the way we write this, instead of writing like this, write it as A over B, then root B. They are the same thing. If you write it like this, no problem. If you write it this way, no problem. But this is the way mathematicians write it. Okay. So the next thing you look at is conjugate of salt. Now, whenever a salt at the denominator is being separated by either addition or subtraction, we multiply or if I will rationalize it by its conjugate. What do I mean by conjugate? The conjugate of a salt is any salt that will form difference of two squares with the former one. What do I mean? Look at this. A plus root B. The conjugate of this conjugate. The conjugate of this, you know, in difference of two squared is the first one plus the second one multiplied by the first one minus the second one. So since I've gotten the first one, now look at it. If I have x squared minus y squared, okay, this is equal to, this is difference of two squared and is equal to the first person minus the second person and the first person plus the second person. You can have it like this or you have it, the first person plus the second person and the first person minus the second person so in conjugate if they give you this one you are the conjugate should be this one if they give you this one this conjugate should be this one so since they've given me the one with plus the conjugate will now be this is the first person plus the second person i'm going to have what the first person minus the second person that is the conjugate i get it okay look at this one 
root A minus root B. Now look at this. They've given me the first person minus the second person. My answer will now be what? The first person plus the second person. This is the conjugate. Okay? Look at this one. Minus A minus root B. All right, look at this one. Let's go. This is the first person minus A, then minus the second person root B. So I'm going to have that same first person plus the second person. Okay? So the next one I'm going to do is uh, minus root A plus root B. All right, let's go now. This one is the first person, which is minus root A. They've given me plus. Then I'm going to have what? Minus the second person. So that is conjugate of solve. I hope you will not forget. Okay, so let's solve rationalization of solve using the conjugate. Okay, the first question I'm going to solve, the first question I'm going to solve is um, 3. Okay, look at this one, 2 over 5 root 2, uh, root 3. Look at this. This one is not being separated by addition or subtraction, so we are not multiplying by the conjugates. But the answer is 2 over 5 root 2. 3 the question times some people make mistake of saying 5 root 3 over 5 root 3 it's not really a mistake but you get the same answer but it's a waste of time use only the solve which is what root 3 over root 3 is the same answer that you get this time this will give you 2 root 3 all over 5 is already here times i told you that root 3 times root 3 is just ordinary 3 so my answer is what 2 root 3 over what 15 Please don't say that this three can divide this three to cancel out. No. Why? Because this one is not inside. I told that only inside divide inside and outside divide outside. So this is the answer to this. So let's move to the one that we use conjugate. Okay. So first question. Second question here. I'm having three over root three plus root two. Okay. What do you think the conjugate of this one is? It should be root three minus root 2. So let's go. 3 over root 3 plus root 2 times, I'm using the conjugate, root 3 minus root 2 all over root 3 minus root, 3, root 2. So I'm using the conjugate to multiply both the numerator and the denominator. So let's go. This is now 3 times this. Is, let's put them in bracket first because bracket means times. Now, there is something I told you. Okay, let's clear. This time this, I'm having 3 root 3 minus this time this, I'm having 3 root 2. Now, there is something I told you about difference of 2 squared. Are you seeing it now? It's now the first person plus the second person and the first person minus the second person. Don't forget I told you that if I have x squared minus y squared, it means the first person plus the second person multiplying the first person minus the second person. So, which means this thing is as good, is as, good as saying the first person all squared minus the second person all squared yes it's as good as that or if you cannot remember it like this use this first person and multiply everything use the second person and multiply everything you will still get back the same answer so what do we have as our final answer now i'm done having this is equal to uh three root three minus three root two all over now square can cancel square root i'm having three left here minus square can cancel square root i'm having two left here so my answer is now three root three minus three root two all over one which is something as three root three minus three root two okay so that is the answer there now the next question i'm going to solve okay Now let's solve some calculations involving sword, everything about sword, so, so that you understand very well, okay? We'll solve about maybe uh, 10 to 15 questions, then we are done for sword. Okay? 
I'm having the first question here. Okay, I'm having the first question here that says, um, Okay, the first question here says three root eighteen simplify minus sixteen over root two. Okay, plus root fifty. We are now solving questions. The first question is this. So I'm now having reduce this one eighteen. Two divide nine. Three divide three. Three divide one. I'm having three here already times this three that is double leaving root 2 inside minus don't forget that what we do here is conjugate uh, uh, sorry not conjugate rationalization because there is no sort here for this one to divide so i'm going to have 16 divided by root 2 times root 2 over root 2 okay so let's do 50 50 will give you 5 root 2 i know that 5 root 2 you can check it yourself so i have this time this i'm having 9 root 2 minus okay this is 16 root 2 over 2. This time this is 16 root 2. Root 2 times root 2 is just 2. Plus 5 root 2. So what do I have? 9 root 2 minus 8 root 2 plus 5 root 2. So what do I have? This minus this is 1. 1 plus this is 6. So my answer is what? 6 root 2. As simple as that. Okay. The second question, number 2, we are going to solve is um find the square of find the square of 3 minus root 2 okay so the square of 3 minus root 2 means 3 minus root 2 all square okay now there is something i normally tell students uh, you can solve it like this let's solve it this way 3 minus root 2 and 3 minus root 2 I'm not putting plus here because this thing is squared. Squared means that thing times itself. So let's clear. 3 times this, 9. 3 times this, minus 3 root 2. Minus root 2 times this, I'm having minus 3 root 2. Minus minus plus root 2 times root 2 is ordinary 2. So what do I have? This plus this is what? 11. Minus 3 minus 3, minus 6 root 2. This is the answer. But there is a shortcut to... Uh, clearing something that has squared outside. If I have x plus y all squared, if you can say it, you can do it. It is said this way. Square the first one. Multiply the first one and the second one. Double it. Then square the last one. Let me repeat again. Square the first one. Multiply the first one and the second one. Double it. Square the last one. So try to memorize it. If you can say it, you can do it. Let's try it. Square the first one, x squared. Multiply the first one and the second one. What do I have? x times y, xy. Double it is 2xy. Then square the last one, I'm having y squared. So let us try it here. I have 3 minus root 2, all squared. You apply this thing only when you have squared outside. So what do I have now? Square the first one, 9. Multiply the first one and the second one. 3 times minus root 2 will give you minus 3 root 2. Double it will give you minus 6 root 2. Then square the last one. The last one is that minus root 2. Please, minus is powerful. Minus root 2. All squared. Minus squared is plus. Root 2 squared. 2 will cancel this to have just 2. So my answer becomes this plus this. 11 minus 6 root 2. You see, we got the same answer. But if you cannot do it that way, do it the first way. Okay. The next one. Number 3. Number three says, simplify root five plus two and root five minus two. Now, if you look at this thing very well, this thing simply means difference of two squared. The first person plus the second person, multiplying the first person minus the second person. So my answer is taking that first person all squared minus taking the second person all squared. As simple as that. So what do we have? This squared is just 5 minus this squared is just 4. And my answer is just 1. Number 4. Okay.
ओके नंबर फोर से वन ओवर टू माइनस रूट थ्री माइनस वन ओवर टू प्लस रूट थ्री ओके दिस इज वेरी सिंपल वन डू वी डू दिस इज फ्रैक्शन सो हाउ डू वी सॉल्व फ्रैक्शन बाय टेकिंग द एलसीएम द एलसीएम ऑफ दिस एंड दिस इज जस्ट मल्टीप्लाइंग देम टू माइनस रूट थ्री एंड टू प्लस रूट थ्री नाउ व्हेन द बोथ ऑफ देम डिवाइड दिस दिस वन वो कैंसल दिस रिमेनिंग ओनली दिस वन दिस वन टाइम्स वन इज व्हाट टू प्लस रूट थ्री माइनस बिकॉज माइनस इज वेरी पावरफुल दैट्स व्हाई पुटिंग देम इन ब्रैकेट दिस टू Dividing this one, this one will cancel this. Remaining on this this one, this one times one, you have what? Two minus root uh, three. Now let me clear the bracket with that minus. I'm having two plus root three minus times this minus two minus times minus plus root three all over. Don't forget that this is difference of two square. The first person minus the second person, and that's the first person plus the second person. So my answer means the first person squared minus The second person square. So my final answer becomes two minus two zero. One plus one. I'm having two root three. Okay, all over. This square will give you four minus this square will give you three. So my answer is now what? Two root three over one, which is what? Two root three. Okay. So the next question, number five. Number five. Number five says root eight minus root two, all over root eight plus root two. Now, before you you think of rationalization, let us reduce this man and know what happens. Eight two four two 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 one. So this is. Two root two minus root two all over two root two plus root two. Don't forget that they are like so, so they can just simply add two plus two minus one. I'm having one, but I cannot write one root two. Instead, I'll write root two all over two plus this to give you what three, three root two. So what do we do? Remember, in there is a simple one here. Remember, in division, one would divide the three. Why these two will divide itself? Okay, so what do I have now? One over three root one, and root one is one, which is what one over three. Okay. Now number six. Number six gave us root five plus root three all over root five minus root three. Now in this one they cannot subtract or add because they are not like so. So the only thing we do is by rationalization. And I told you whenever they are being separated by addition or subtraction, we are going to rationalize using the conjugate. So what's the conjugate now? Root five plus root three all over root five plus root three. So let's multiply this times this. Let's put them in bracket. Root five plus root three. In fact, they are the same thing, so it means square, okay, all over. But this one is difference of two square, which means the first person squared minus the second person squared. So what do we have? I told you here. Remember what you do here. You cannot multiply it that way. Use that my method. Square the first one, multiply the first one and the second one, double it, square the last one. So if I square the first one, I'm having just five. Because square will cancel square root. Now, square, uh, multiply the first one and the second one. This time, this I'm having three times five, fifteen. Root fifteen. Double it. I'm having two root fifteen. Okay. Then plus square the last one. I'm having just three. All over. This square is five minus this square is a uh, is three. So my answer is now this plus this will give me eight plus two root fifteen. All over uh, two. Now, if you look at this, I can decide to separate it because I know that they can divide each other. So I have eight will divide by two plus two root fifteen will divide by two. The reason I'm separating is because anything you do to this person, you must do to this person. 
Okay, don't go and say that maybe I'm having five here and they cannot divide. I will not just use two and divide only this. It's not possible for addition and subtraction. Anything you do to this person, you must do to this person. So my answer is now four plus what? Root uh, 15. Okay. So the next one, number seven. Number seven says, the square root of 18x squared plus the square root of 48 x raised to the power 4 plus the square root of x raised to the power 8. Okay, this is a very simple question. So we'll start from the, the least one, the one inside here. So you put this, write your 18x squared plus put the other one, write your 48x4 plus square root of this means divide it means x raised to power 8 all raised to power 1 over 2 if you can remember indices this take care of this i'm having 4 so it means it's x raised to power 4 so let's add this is equal to the square root of 18x squared plus this is now 48 plus invisible 1 i have 49 x raised to power 4 so what do we have child of god i'm having the square root of 18x raised to power 2 plus square root of 49 is 7 and square root of x raised to the power 4 is divided by 2 here to have x raised to the power 2 okay so what do we have this plus this will give me uh 25 x raised to the power 2 and square root of 25 is 5 square root of x squared is just x so my answer is a uh, 5x as simple as that Number eight. I'm having two minus simplify two minus one over two root two minus one. Okay. Now I can decide to make this over one and then uh, find the uh, LCM, then rationalize, or I will decide to rationalize this one, then bring it back here. So maybe that's what I will do first. So I have um, two minus. Let's talk about the rationalization of this one. 1 over root 2 minus 1 times... Remember that they are being separated by subtraction. So I'm using the conjugate. Root 2 plus 1 all over root 2 plus 1. So what do I have? I'm having 2 minus... Uh, the LCM is difference of 2 squared. Which is root 2 all squared minus, root, minus 1 all squared, yes. Then, or rather, before I do this, okay, 1 times this is root 2 plus 1, and this time this is difference of 2 squared, which is root 2 all squared minus 1 squared. So what do I have? 2 minus uh, root 2 plus 1 all over, uh, what do I have here? 2 minus 1. So what do I have now? 2 minus root 2 plus 1 over 1. So what do I have now? I'm having, finally, I'm having 2 minus, anything divided by 1 is the same thing, root 2 plus 1. Be cautious that I'm putting this bracket because of this minus that is powerful. So I'm going to use minus to clear everybody. So now be 2, this time this, minus root 2, this time this, minus 1. So what do I have? This minus this, I'm having 1 minus uh, root 2. So if you did not use this minus, you see that the minus will only affect one person, which will make your, your solving wrong. Okay, so the next question. The next question said, uh, number 9. Number 9 says, um, 1 over root 3 bracket m minus 9 over root 3 is equal to 2 root 3 minus 3 then the next thing we should find find m okay that we should find m okay so let's go uh, let's clear the bracket. 
or let me rationalize this. If I rationalize this, I'm having 1, look at this, 1 over root 3 times root 3 over root 3. So I'm having root 3 times 1, root 3, all over root 3 times root 3, 3. So this thing is as the same as saying root 3 over 3, bracket, m minus 9 over root 3, okay? And they say it's equal to what? 2 root 3 minus 3. So I'm still working here. Let me know what I'm going to get. Now, this time this will give me m over 3, m over 3, root 3. Now, this time this will give you what? 3 cancel 3, 3, 3 cancel 9, I'm having 3, and this is canceling this, so it's just 3. I hope you are getting it. This time this, this cancel this, they are out. 9 divided by 3, I'm having 3 here. So, is equal to what? 2 root 3 minus 3. Now, if you look at this, this looks exactly like this. So, let us compare. Minus 3 and minus 3, gone. So, which means this one here, which is m over 3 root 3, should be equal to this one, 2 root 3. So, in this case, root 3 can cancel root 3. So, what do I have? That m over 3 is equal to 2. Cross multiply to have that m is equal to what? 6. That is that. Number 10. Number 10 says 3 root 15 plus 2 root 48 all over root 32 oh, times, not plus, times. Times 4 root uh, 45. Okay, so I told you before you do anything, try to reduce so that it will be easy for you. 15 is not reducible, so I'm bringing it down. 3 root 15, okay, times 2, 48. 2 divide 24, 2 divide 12, 2 divide 6, 2 divide 3, 3 divide 1. So 2 and 2, 2 times 2, 4. So I'm having times 4 root 3 all over. This one will give me, I think, 4 root 2. 4 root 2. You can check it yourself. Times. Uh, this is 4 is already here. 4 is already here. Times 3 root 5. Yes. 9 times 5, 45. So, let's go. So, I'm having 3 root 15 times. This time, this will give you. What do I have? 8. 8 root 3 all over 4 root 2 times 12 root 5. So let's, let's go now. Outside multiply outside, inside multiply inside. So what do I have? 3 times 8, 24. Root 15 times 3, 45. All over. This 12 times 4, 48. Root 2 times 5, 10. So what do we have now? This is the same thing as saying, 24 divided by 48, then root what? 45 divided by 10. So what do we have now? I'm having um, 24, 1, this one, 2. So I'm having 1 over 2, root 5 here, 9, and 5 here, 2. So what am I having now? See, they cannot divide further. I will separate and rationalize. So I'm having 1 over 2 times root 9 over root 2. So which is what? 1 over 2 times 3 over root root what? Root 2. So because the square root of 9 is 3. So this time is I'm having 3 over what? 2 root 2. Multiplied by root 2 over root 2. So what do I have now? 3 root 2 over 2 is already here times 2. Which is what? 3 root 2 over 4. I hope I'm not rushing. This time this, I'm having this. This time this, I'm having 2 times 1 here is 1. Root 2 times root 2 is just ordinary 2. So this time this is giving me 4. So this is the final answer. Okay. Okay. Alternatively, there is a way you can do it if you have your calculator. This thing is as simple as saying, uh, uh, just 3 times 2. The one outside, then open 
divided by four, everybody outside. Then open the big sword and I say 15 times 48 divided by 32 times 45. You can do it this way. You don't want to waste your time. So let us go. You will not, let's go. I'm having a um, six over four, the root of fifteen times forty-eight. I'm having seven twenty divided by thirty-two times forty-five. So I'm having one four four zero. So. So which is what? 6 over 2, 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2. 3 over 2, 2 here, 2, 2 here, 3. So root what? Root. Now when this divide, I'm having 1. And this divide, I'm having 2. Okay? So it's as good as saying 3 over 2 times 1 over root 2. Okay? We now rationalize, which is what? 3, 3 over 2 root 2, which is what? I'll do times root 2 over root 2, which is what? 3 root 2 over 4. Okay. So any method you like is very, very okay. Now the next question, number 11. Number 11 says 1 over root 2 brackets. 1 over root 3 plus root 2 minus 1 over root 3 minus root 2. Okay? Now, I can decide to work inside. Then let me use this and multiply. Or I'll just use that multiply, then work, work it at once. Anyone I like, the same thing. So let's go. 1 over, let me multiply first. This time this is giving me root what? Root 6. This time this is giving me just 2. Okay? This time this one minus 1 times 1 is 1. All over. This time this is giving me root 6 minus 2. Okay? So let's go. The LCM is now difference of 2 square if you, if you look at it very well. That is root 6 plus 2 and root 6 minus 2. So when the both of them divide this, is remaining this. This times 1. I'm having root 6 minus 2. Minus, please open bracket. Minus is powerful. These two divide this. This cancel this. I'm having root 6 plus 2. Okay. So what do we have left? We now have root 6 minus 2. Minus root 6 minus 2. All over. Difference of 2 squared. The first person squared. Minus the second person squared. So what do we have now? We are having now. Root 6 minus root 6. 0. Minus 2 minus 2. Minus 4. Upstairs. I'm having here. This squared is giving me 6. Minus. This squared is giving me 2. So what do I have? Minus 4 over uh, 4. So what do I have? Minus 1 as my final answer. Okay. Okay, uh, are you sure there is no mistake anywhere? Because I think this into this is this, this into this is this, minus this into this is this, okay? Oh, sorry, 
2 squared is 4. Not this, 2 squared is 4. So I'm having this minus this is 2, and then minus 2 as a result. Okay. 